So, we've all heard it. You gotta wax your snow ski board. But why? Because it makes it go faster. Really? Yep. Well, why don't they make the whole thing out of wax? Hmm. The base of a skier snowboard is made out of a material called PTEX, or Ultra High Molecular Weight Polyethylene. Huh? We'll just say PTEX. Uh -huh. PTEX is really similar in makeup to PTFE, or Teflon, like what you use in bicycle chain lube or nonstick frying pans, in that it has a very low friction and stuff doesn't stick to it. But, compared to Teflon, PTEX has a really long, overlapping cell structure, which makes it both durable and porous. Huh? Strong, but also full holes. Uh -huh. And it's really slippery, so it's perfect for sliding along the snow. So, if PTEX is so great, why do you need to wax it? Because it makes it go faster! That's right. S sort of. Hmm. So, PTEX is very durable, but it's not indestructible. If you use it long enough, you'll scrape it up and wear it out, and pretty soon you'll be riding on the wood core of your snowboard. Oh no! Yeah, that's bad. So, the other thing about PTEX is it's porous, like a sponge. And, like a sponge, it can soak stuff up. It just takes a little heat to do it. When you bust out your waxing iron and rub it around the base of the skier snowboard, what you're doing is opening up the pores of the board, kind of like how a hot shower opens up the pores on your face before you wash it. Um, I don't do that. Well, you should. So when you melt the wax onto the base and iron it in, those pores open up and suck in the wax. As the board cools, those pores close back up, grabbing the wax and holding it in the base. And it makes it go faster! Well, sort of. So now, let's talk about what that wax does. First, wax works as a form of protection for the base of the ski or snowboard. Wax is kind of like a secret service guy. He's there to take a bullet for the guy behind him. Wax is softer than PTEX, so when ice chips or rocks hit the base of the snowboard, the wax takes the damage and keeps the base from getting scraped. The other thing wax does is... Okay, you can say it. It makes it go faster! Right, but not necessarily in the way you think. Like I said, PTEX is low friction. It's slippery, but it's actually a little too slippery. If you run an unwaxed ski over the snow, you have little snow particles sliding across the base, like really fine grit sandpaper, and it slows you down. What you want is to get those little particles out of the way, and that's where the wax comes in. See, wax is higher friction than PTEX. Won't that make it go slower? No. Think of how you rub your hands together to warm them up when they're cold. That's friction that warms them up. Wax rubs across the snow and melts it. It makes a little layer of water between the PTEX and the snow. So the ski or snowboard can glide across without ever touching the frozen particles. The snow cools as it hits the air again and instantly freezes so you don't see a trail of water behind you when you go down the hill. This is also why you don't want to over wax and why you scrape your base after you put wax on. Too much wax makes too much friction and slows you down. So that brings me to the last question. Why are there different wax temperature ranges? Why are there different wax temperature ranges? I just said that. Well, cold temperature waxes are harder waxes. Harder waxes are more durable, so really cold, crusty, icy snow doesn't rip it off on the first run. Warm temperature waxes are softer and less durable, so icy snow will tear it up. But, warm temp waxes also repel water better, so when you're on that kind of snow that's really soft and sticky and good for snowballs, it keeps the base from collecting all that slush and getting bogged down. A hard, cold temp wax will tend to grab slush a little more. In general, for the best, fastest performance, you should try to apply the right temperature range wax for each day on the hill, or cheat to the cold side of things when in doubt. Oh my gee willikers! But, if that's going to give you an aneurysm, you can always use an all-temp wax, which covers a very broad range of snow conditions. And that, kids, is how wax works. Huzzah!